guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. First off, I want to say sorry. I got the sniffles. Uh, I've been sick for the last few days trying to get over it, but no big deal. Um, in this video, what I want to talk to you guys about was a knife or knives. I'm not a big knife person. Um, I've always been a gun person. I've always been a gear person. I don't necessarily like to say I've always been a tactical person, but I've always liked gear, whether that was, you know, knives, guns, anything hunting related, anything, anything that's going to help me do my job better and more effect, you know, more effective or easier, you know, those are the kind of things that I'm into. So that's kind of what I hope is uh, portrayed with this, with this channel or with these episodes, um, kind of me putting out that information on top of all the other things that you guys kind of like seeing. Um, but one thing I get asked all the time is what kind of knife do you carry? Um, nine times out of 10, I usually just have a random, um, no name. And sometimes there's name brands. I got Benchmades, I got Gerber's. Um, trying to think what other, I have Leatherman's. I have a bunch of random knives or whatever that I carry, but I'm not real big into like specific knives or name brand knives, that kind of thing. If there's a knife that you guys really like or a knife that you guys really recommend, comment down below, let me know what you guys think and I'll go ahead and check them out. But I've never been a huge knife person. One knife that I've leaned towards a lot more is this K-Bar TDI. Um, this video is not sponsored by any means. However, I wanted to talk about this knife because this is something that I've started carrying a lot more often. Um, most of my knives are tools in a sense that I use them majority of the time to mm -hmm. cut open boxes. I use them to, you know, for packages, different things like that those that's the purpose that they serve i don't necessarily use those knives as any kind of defense mechanism or you know any kind of fighting tool um i'm not a huge fan of fighting with a folding knife and i know most knives and all the ones that i do have have a locking system that when the blade is out you know it's the likelihood of it coming back and folding on my fingers is slim to none however i'm just not a fan of it if i was to ever use a knife in a situation like that if i had the option it would be a straight blade knife now on top of that, I also get the fact that if that's the only knife that I have and it's a life or death situation, of course I'm going to use the knife. It's not like I'm going to say, well, I only have a folding knife. I don't like using folding knives. I'm not going to do this. However, if I have the option, I like a straight blade knife. I don't like to have a folding knife. This knife right here, I like how simple it is. I like how small it is. The ergonomics behind it. Um, if I had to recommend a knife, this is what I would recommend. I've used this thing. Obviously not 100% recommended, but I've used this thing to cut open boxes. Um, I cut open tape. I have the straight blade one. There is a serrated edge version. Um, and I've used this thing over and over and over again. I do carry this with me at work. And <coughs> I just love this thing. I carry this. I know some of you guys are going to get mad. I carry this on my weak side. A lot of you guys like to say your support side. Um, that's just kind of what's been ingrained in my head since the military. Strong side, weak side. Yes, it is my support side. Um, I don't, I'm not somebody who gets caught up in all of that, but I know a lot of you guys comment and say, well, it's not your weak side, it's your support side. It's supporting your strong side. I get it. But I do carry this on my weak or my support side so that if for whatever reason I cannot get to my gun, if something's going on, I pull this thing out and I have the option of using this as a uh, tool to fight somebody off if necessary. Um, this is kind of, for me, in my personal opinion, and like I stated before, not a big knife person, but in my personal opinion, this knife kind of just does it all for me. Um, like I said, opening packages, cutting different things that I've needed. Um, if I have to use it in a defensive uh, situation, then I feel like I'm a lot more comfortable with this. The same way I would punch. I mean, I can still punch with this thing, left hand or right hand, feel comfortable, um, nice blade on there. So let me know what you guys think. This video is fairly short. Like I said, not sponsored at all. Sponsorship stuff is going to be coming here pretty soon. Um, I got some really big things coming. So I hope that you guys stick around for that. Um, this year is almost over. And as of right now, I'm at 1,600 subscribers. So I want to tell you guys, thank you so much. I started being a little more productive with this channel about a year ago. And I remember hitting that 100 subscriber mark. I was so excited. And then earlier this year, I hit 1,000. And now we're at 1,600. So we're continuing to grow. We're continuing to do big things. And with that, 
we have big things coming. So, like I said, a sponsorship's coming. Just know that there's a lot, a lot, a lot more guns coming. Um, I'm going to be letting you guys know about some really, really good deals. With the way YouTube is working, I can't necessarily link them down below. But I can tell you them, and then you guys can go and look them up.